Hey everyone, thanks for joining. So we're going to go ahead and continue on our journey to get this plugin operational. <laughs> so I um, want to make a note here uh, before we talk about it a little bit. So the uh, input parameters, if I can spell, is a collection and it contains all the data that is passed in the message request. Now, what does that mean? Well, it's actually pretty straightforward. So when you register your plugin assembly, um, you're going to have to register it against a message, uh, an SDK message. Um, for example, a create message or an update message, for example. So um, with that being said, um, there's inputs that come from the entity that you're registering against. One of those key inputs is the unique identifier of the record that you've registered against. So um, that's really the, the, the bare bones explanation of it. Um, and I think that's sufficient. So let's go ahead and do some logic here. Now it's going to start to get a little interesting. So... Visual Studio wants to do things a certain way, and I do not want to do it that way. So what you want to do here is you want to check if context.inputParameter contains target. Now, what is the target? Target is essentially when you have deployed your plugin uh, against an entity, that's the, that's the target. And then what we're going to do here is, and so we're still in our if context dot input parameters. And then you pass in target again is entity. So what you're saying is, is this target? based on the context that I've been given from the service provider and the execution context. Is it an entity? And does it contain the target entity that I asked for? If it does, let's proceed. All right, perfect. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to obtain the target entity from those input parameters. How do you do that? Simply by invoking an entity, instantiating that variable, and then saying entity context dot input parameters, and then who would have guessed it? The target and terminate. So this right here is the primary entity. Um, this doesn't have to be the name that you use, but this is the primary entity that you've registered your plugin against. Okay. So in our next video, I'm going to uh, show you about the uh, organizational service, um, the service factory, and um, just talk about a little bit about what those mean. And then we're going to move into our logic. And then we'll move a little bit quicker and uh, deploy this um, to the cloud, you know, deploy the assembly. So it'll start to get really, really cool. But uh, I like what we have here so far. Uh, so thank you so much for watching.